Alright, uh, last time we took a look at segments. We saw that every segment has a length. We calculated distance in the xy plane. And that's pretty much it. So today we're still going to look at segments, but we're going to focus on points on a segment and how to find them. There's one point that every segment has that's really important. It is called the midpoint. Uh, let's say that I have a segment like so. And I'll call it segment AT. Now I know that for any segment I have a whole bunch of points in between the endpoints. I'm going to pick a point right here, call it R. Feeling a little artsy today. Um, let's suppose that this point R makes a segment to A that's congruent to the segment to T. In other words, the distance from R to A is equal to the distance from R to T. If that was true, that would make R the midpoint. So a midpoint, this is any point, or I should say the point, because there's only one, the point on a segment equidistant. All that means is equal distance. Equidistant. It means equal distant, uh, equal distance from to both endpoints. Okay, so there's only one midpoint for every segment. There's a whole bunch of points in between the endpoints, but there's only one midpoint. If this was five, this would have to be five. That's just how it goes. You scratch that out. If this was six, uh, I don't know, a ten, and this was a two x. Well, based on this picture, if R is the midpoint, ten would have to equal two x, and I can figure out that value for x. So a midpoint is any point on my segment equidistant from both endpoints. Okay, so there's something that might pass through that. <clears throat> Anything that passes through your midpoint is going to be what we call a segment bisector. We're going to use this word a lot this year. Bisect just means chops in half, chops exactly in half. We're going to look at segment bisectors and angle bisectors. Um, so a segment bisector is any line, and for now I'm just going to say, or other things, because we're going to study some other things a little bit later on that can also do this. Uh, that intersects all that means is it hits or it passes through the midpoint of a segment so they might uh, tell you that something is bisecting a segment like a quick example say I have this segment right here Call it a, I don't know, V, X. And let's say that there's a line that passes through there. Now they might tell me that line AB is bisecting segment VX. What that means is whatever this point is where they meet has to be the midpoint. In other words, that segment is getting cut in half. So midpoint, any point equidistant from both endpoints, segment bisector, anything that passes through your midpoint. A lot of different examples. Um, we're going to see some things later. You can have a plane that bisects a segment. You can have another segment. You can uh, also have these things called rays. Uh, lots of things can bisect a segment. Okay, so the title of this section is Locating Points and Midpoints. Now that we know what a midpoint is, how do we find it? So we have two cases, one um, on a number line, and this is more like a simple case. Let's say that I have a point here at minus 2, and a point here at 10. And I don't know what letters have I not, I haven't used Z in a while, or Z as some say. Uh, and then, you know, how about T? Now, there's a segment that goes from Z to T. And let's say that you needed to find the midpoint of that segment. Okay, so let's think about that. We need to find a point exactly the same distance from Z 
as it is to t. So a couple different ways you can do that. One way students like to do is they like to count all the spaces and see how long zt is. That could work. I can count from minus 2 all the way to 10. If I do that, that'll give me like 12. And the midpoint should be exactly halfway between. So 12 over 2 is 6. Oops, 12 over 2. Getting ahead of myself. Now what that means is I could travel from z towards t 6 units. Or I could travel from t towards c 6 units. Either way, we'll call this m for the midpoint. And that works. It's just that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, if you remember last time we talked about to find the length of a segment on the member line, we always did bigger minus smaller. Okay, so that's how you can find this 12. So instead of counting spaces, you could have found that 12. Okay, and then you could take the same process. Divide by 2, and then go to the middle. Now there's an even easier way. So instead of having to count, instead of having to find the length, uh, what you can do is think of this. Let's, and I know this is going to be kind of a sidetrack over here. Let's say you're on the basketball team. I know, weird, right? So you're on the basketball team. Uh, first game, you score 12 points. The second game, you score, let's say, 14 points. And if someone says, oh, how good are you at basketball? But like, how do you do in a game? You can think, all right, well, I can tell them about how much I could expect to make in the next game. To do that, you could find the average. So the average is kind of nice, or we call this the mean. It always tells you the number exactly in the middle of two other numbers. In other words, equidistant. So on our number line, you can actually take that same approach. If you were to add negative 2 and 10 and divide by 2, you get a 4. Same spot. I like this way a lot better because it's quicker and it's pretty easy. So midpoint is really just an averaging. And this is when we're looking for coordinates. On a number line, you just have one coordinate. All right, so to get the midpoint, you can just take the average. Um, what if I have some points in the xy plane? All right, well, the xy plane is a little different. Things don't behave the same way. x1, y1 is this point. x2, y2 is this point. I'm going to label where my x's are on my x-axis. If I'm trying to find this midpoint, it should be like exactly halfway between my x's. It should also be exactly halfway between my y's. So to find the midpoint in the x-y plane, or the Cartesian plane, all you need to do is the same thing we did with the number line. You just have to do it twice. You've got to do it for your x's, and you've got to do it for your y's. So I'm going to call this point M for midpoint. To figure out those coordinates, add up, divide by 2 for x, add up, divide by 2 for y. So it's an average of x paired with an average for y. Your answer should be a point. It should be an x comma y in parentheses because it is a midpoint. So how's that going to work in practice? Uh, let's see. So I'm supposed to find the midpoint of segment AB where I have the coordinates of A and the coordinates of B. You can graph this thing out if you want, and you can find the distance of the whole thing and divide the distance. That's going to take a long time. Or what you could do is add up your x's, add up your y values, And whatever you get, that is going to be your midpoint. It doesn't have to be a whole number, but that is definitely your midpoint. I'm going to stop here and start the next video off on the next question.